is starting. Wird ab jetzt live gesagt. Oh. Does that mean we're live? Okay, I'm still learning my German. Hello everyone. We started one minute early to give everyone a, a what is it now? Of course, something like that. <laughs> Good. You want to say hello? Hi. Hey. I think we have a few international guests. Yes. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. Uh, Ciao Italia. Hello Deutschland. Hello Deutschland. Um, hello oh. Berlin. Yeah. Hello. Um, hey guys. That's that's hey dude. Hey, c'è Sicilia. Grande Vito. Benvenuto. Danny. Oh, it's time to start. Let's get started. Okay. Hopefully you can hear us okay. As we talked about in our first class yesterday, we had the adults class. This is our first class we always do. So my students, you know what's up. You know how to, how to do this. And um, for everyone else that's just joining along, just follow as best you can. We will post Oh, salutation. Excellent. Let's start with some jumping jacks. So like we try to do in class, let's try to stay together. I'll count out every 10 jumping jacks. Ready? Begin. So you want your feet, nice wide stance, your hands are up, don't forget, always keeping those hands up, jumping on the balls of your feet, nice and agile, left neutral mode, so a left fighting stance, switch, switch, remember you don't want to hop up when you switch, you want to stay nice and low, switch, keep your head one level, switch, switch, good, now running on the spot, Good, get those hands moving. Now, knees up. Back to running. Back to running. Get that blood moving. Now, try to kick yourself in the butt. And back to running. And stop. Good, why don't we spread out a little bit so we don't smack each other. To that. Now, everyone's favorite, one forward, one back. Good coordination exercise. Session. Good. And let's stretch our arms. Other side. Up and over. Other side. Hands on your hips, feet together. Moving your hips around. Change direction. Good. Widen your stance. Trunk of the body around. Change direction. And stop at the top. Right hand up, lean over to the side. Doesn't matter which hand really, as long as you do the other side now. Good, all right, let's get those legs stretched. Turn your, turn your right foot, we'll do a mirror this time. Turn down your right leg, get nice and straight. You get a nice stretch here on the inside of your leg. Try to keep that heel on the floor. Gives you a stretch on your calf muscle at the same time. Change sides. And try to touch the floor. If you can stick your head on the floor, you can do that. But keep those legs straight. No cheating. Grab your right leg. Grab your right leg. Back to the middle. All right, walk your hands. Straight. In the middle. Put the ones do 200. No, let's start with 10. We don't have enough time. 10 push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good, we'll look around your back. I'm gonna go this direction so you can see. Good. 
Good. You can do this by yourself. You don't need a partner. Cross your feet. Put your hands across your chest. I want you to just simply touch your elbows to your knees. Do some crunches. Strengthen those abs. Let's do 30 on your own. Go. Good, when you finish, feet together, butterfly stretch. Butterfly stretch, butterfly in Italian, farfalla. German, schmetterling. A little bit lighter, what is it in German? Schmetterling. Schmetterling, schmetterling stretch. Good, everyone up? All right, loosen out your legs a little bit. All right, we just do some quick stretching before every class to prevent injury, all right? If you really want to work on getting the good splits and really stretching your body out, it's better to do it after class. When you're all warmed up and you really got the blood flowing, that's when you do really long stretching. All right, we just do it before class. Don't get hit is our number one rule, okay? So we're going to start with our blocks. Let's go, horse position. Good, I want you guys to start with your right hand. We'll start with our left hand so that we mirror you, all right? So you guys start with your right hand. Let's do some upward blocks, nice and slow. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, chamber your hands. Chamber in your hands, you're right back here, ready to fire away, okay? Inward blocks, starting with the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, chamber your hands. Outward blocks, outward blocks. Now, don't forget the minor move. We want to brush our bicep with the returning hand, okay? So, outward blocks, starting with the right hand. You're gonna start with the left. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Good. Chin your hands. Downward block. Downward block. Now remember, there's a bit of a minor move in there before you block. Okay? Ready? Starting with the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good. Stance. Kick out your legs a little bit. Get the blood. Keep the blood moving through them. All right. Good. Okay. So, really important thing to incorporate in our blocks, especially at the beginner level, is distancing, getting away from your opponent. Okay. If Luca were facing me, and if I had just normal stance. And if we're going to be practicing our, our upward blocks, for example, he might want to move away, stepping back to a right neutral bow. So he's creating distance. He's buying himself time, moving away from the attack. Right? That could be an upward block. If you're going to go back to a left neutral bow with an inward block, okay, that's that block. That's that inward block we were doing. If you go back to the right and your bow with an outward block, boom, there's that outward block. Let's do that really slow, and let's do the other side. So you go back to the right neutral bow. So right neutral bow. Once you go back to a right neutral bow this time with an outward block. And what you're going to see is that minor move. Do the other minor move. Boom. A right neutral bow. Minor move and a block. 
That's it. See it again? I'll mirror you again. So I want you to go back to a right neutral bow with an upward block. Okay? Right neutral bow, upward block. Back again. Move. Back again. Move. Return. Move. Return. Move. Good. Back up. Now let's do the other side. Okay, you're going to go back to a right neutral bow. Sorry, a left neutral bow. Left neutral bow, upward block. Ready? Move. Return. Move. Return. Move. Return. Move. Return. Move. Return. Good. Okay. Now, let's go into those inward blocks. Those inward blocks. Right? Really good against the punch to the face. There's <laughs> the inward block. All right. So, inward blocks. Starting with a right neutral bow. All right? So, here you go. Boom. Inward block. All right? Remember, we're mirroring you this time. Okay? Ready? Return. Move. Return. Move. Return. Remember, it's two steps. The hand comes up and then over. Right? In fact, let's break it down to the simplest form. Help everybody learn this the right way. All right? I want you to lift your right hand up just next to your face. And then as you step back, boom, you block. You bring that chamber ready to fire. Because after you block, you may want to punch. Okay? Counter attack. All right? So let's do that one step at a time. Hand comes up. Step back with the block. Good. Hand comes up. Back with the block. Back up. Up. Block. Up. Block. Return. Good. Let's do the other side. Other hand up. Step back with the block. Good. Don't forget to bring that good chamber. You don't want to leave this hand down here. This hand down here is not doing you any good. You want that right here ready to fire away. Okay, back up, up, and block, return, up, and block, return, up, and block, return. Good, let's go to the outward block. A little bit more complicated, we've got both hands moving, but if we break it down step by step, it's a lot easier to learn, all right? All right, so, bring your, Left hand. Good. Your right hand up. Step back. Keep this hand up. Step up. And then step back with a block. Good. If you're getting a little confused, just reset. So you're mirroring us now. Stand up. Leave this hand up. Step back with a block. Good. Leave that hand up. Feet together. And block. Up. Block. Up. Block, up, block, up, block, up, block. Good, 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 good. If you didn't get that right away, don't worry about it. It's kind of a complicated move. We're moving our feet, we're moving both hands, we're trying to be coordinated. Good thing is, you can rewind this later and do it over again, and then over again, and over again until you get it perfect, all right? What's next? Downward, Downward blocks. So let's do the same two-step process, okay? Bring your right hand up. So we're gonna bring our left hand up because we're mirroring them. Good, just like this. And as you step out with your left foot, you block. Good, now leave this hand down. Come up with your left hand and step back with a block. Leave this hand down, step up. Good, you're looking at us, you're in a mirror, and step back with the block. Good. Up, block. Up, block. Up, block. Up, block. Up, block. Good. Everybody get it? Sure you did. All right. If you have any questions on any of this, just message me after and we'll go over it. 
let's put these into more movement. Now, hopefully you have a little bit of room to work with in your house, wherever you're training right now. If you don't, just adjust your steps a little bit and make do with it. We're gonna do short form one, all right? This is our first kata, our first form, all right? And it's incorporating the same blocks we were just doing, but we're moving away and we're changing direction, okay? And again, Luke and I will mirror you, all right? So just pretend you're looking in a mirror and copy our movements, all right? So let's go down into a meditating horse position, all right? Now, you are gonna step back with your left foot and do an inward block. Okay, ready? One. Good, now we're gonna keep going back. And again, when our feet come together, you're chambering, ready to go, and block, just like that. Now, your lead hand will drop and your left hand will come up. Remember this block we just did? We're gonna do it to that direction now. Block, and you're stepping away from the attack. We're gonna step away from the attack again, our feet come together, we've got this minor move, and block. Good, look over your left shoulder. Now you've got an attack coming from behind you. You're gonna switch, you're gonna quickly switch direction with an upward block. Good, coming back, your hands come together, forming a wall of protection, and step back with your block. Now, we've got kicks coming from that direction. So I want you to do this chamber that we did before. Feet come together, good chamber, step out with a block. Good, same thing again. Come together in a good chamber and step out with a block. Turn and meditate. Good, step back a little bit, Luca. There we go, right in the frame. Now we'll go through a little bit faster. Sometimes these are harder to do slow, okay? But I really want you to think about the moves in between the blocks, especially for you upper belts, right? I'm looking at you, the yellow belts, the orange belts, okay? You really need to start working on the moves in between, not just the major moves, all right? So really concentrate on this and let's put some effort in, ready? Short form one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn to meditate, come up just for a second. For all of you new joiners, that might be a little bit complicated for you, okay? Most of my students know how to do this. We've been working on this a lot, and this is really for them. And for you new guys, this is just introducing you to it, all right? So let's do that again. Down to your horse, meditating position, short form one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So meditate. From here, same meditating horse. I want you to think about one more thing now. Now that we have the good flow going, got the good blocks going, I want you to think about one more thing now. I want you to look at the attack before it happens. So in between the counts, I will call out, look, you turn your head. It'll make sense in a minute, okay? Here we go. Ready? One, eight. Turn to meditate. One more time, ready? One, two, look, three, four, four feet to work for us. With what we would call an entry technique, all right? This is really good if you're thinking about doing some sparring, uh, especially in sport or competing a little bit. And uh, just wanna play with this a little bit, okay? so. What we're going to start with first is a lead leg round kick, okay? So if we're in a left neutral bow, we'll mirror them just for a second, right? A lead leg is whichever leg is forward, all right? So a lead leg round kick, a round kick comes around. Lead leg round kick, okay? So that's what we're going to play with now. 
All right, why don't you stay on that line? I'll step behind you so you don't kick me, because we all know what happens when you kick your dad. He cries. No, anyway, okay, so, all right, I want everybody in a left neutral bow. All right, left neutral bow. Actually, if we're going to mirror each other, you guys should be in a right neutral bow. Be in a right neutral bow mirroring us like this, okay? You should all be facing the same direction, that direction. Start now. Get that heel pointing towards your target. Okay, so drag up. Position one, two, three, four. Step down and step back, all right? Remember, how many counts do our kicks have? Four, that's right. Everybody go. I'm going to give the answer away. Okay, so four, right? You've got one, two, three, four, okay? That's what we're going for today. Last tip of the day, okay? I want, when you're dragging up, I want that knee to be pointing straight at your target when you're firing away. It shouldn't be over here, and it should definitely not be over here. It should be straight at your target, okay? That's what we're going for. All right, perfect. Here we go. All the way through now. Ready? One. Nice and easy. Doesn't have to be fast. Really practicing your form. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Bring that heel about around a little bit more point towards that target. What was that? Six? Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Switch. <laughs> Not a normal switch. We're going to switch and face this direction. Now, all of you should be in a left neutral bow facing this direction. Same thing on this side now, right? You're going to drag up, position one, two, three, set down into four, and reposition your stance. All right? Ready? One. Two, three, four. Remember, sorry, remember, keep those hands up. Keep those hands up, okay? We don't want to do this, okay? You want to keep the hand between you and your opponent, right? I drop my hands off. Is that it? Which technique is that called? Stopping. We'll get to that later. Okay, good. All right, so keep those hands up. If you need to, you can actually use something. Like a pool noodle or a towel, right? If you have a rag, a towel or something, you can put it here when you're doing your exercises and it helps you. Keep your hands up, can't drop your hands, right? So, tip of the day, all right? One of them anyway. Here we go. All right, what do we do? Four? Actually, remember this time. All right, here we go. Five. Keeping those hands up. Six. Excellent. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, good. All right, here we go. Now, the round kick doesn't have to be really high. We can use it to bring our opponent's guard down, all right? So why don't we do this? Why don't you give me a neutral bow? Give me a right neutral bow. Good. If I want to do, if I want to try to bring Luca's guard down, I might try to go for a low kick. All right? What happened there? I brought his guard down. Boom. Okay? And I've got this hand ready. If I drop this hand, not only did I not attack, but I also had a nice uh, Luca. Fisk sandwich, not my favorite flavor. Okay, so let's try that for right now. Um, why don't we all go in a right your travaux face in this direction. All I want you to do is do that round kick and land forward with that right punch straight to the face, okay? Ready? One. All right, so the foot is a little bit different. Now we're advancing instead of bringing it back. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Now remember, that hand stays here. And it goes straight in. 
We don't want to make the mistake of bringing it way back here and then going forward. Even just a little bit and going forward. We don't want to do that. We want to keep it right where it is. Drag up, kick, land with a punch. All right? Ready? How many did we do? 12? <laughs> Let's do a couple more. Ready? Move. 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 Good. All right. Other side. Good. We should be a nice neutral bow, a left neutral bow, facing that direction. Same thing. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Other side. All right, let's keep this moving. Now, I'll show you what we're going to do. Switch. So now, I bring his hands down. Now he blocks it. Okay? His hand came up and left this open. Ooh. Nice, good forward bow punch right into the midsection. Okay? And I'm keeping this check up just in case because it does have another hand that he might want to come in with. Right? So this is always up. All right? So. You're coming in, low kick, high punch, mid punch, okay? Remember, especially for my upper belt, but hey, the white belt should know this by now too. Forward bow, forward bow. Why do we want that forward bow? Let's go over this for a second. We got a good neutral bow, forward bow. Neutral bow, forward bow, right? Why do we want that forward bow? Can't hear you, okay. <laughs> I'm sure you know the reasons why. Why do we want it? Power, extension, and stability. Power, extension, and stability. Power. You move that foot, the foot moves those hips, it moves the shoulder. That means that your whole body mass is right behind that punch. Okay? It's every, it's not just your hand. Now it's your whole body. That's your power. Your extension. That's as far as I can reach in the neutral bow. All you gotta do is turn that foot. And I've got my extension, okay? Stability, i got a good forward bow here. I can hold up a house. Oh. Get a drink of water. Sorry, how do you done? <laughs> All right, okay. All right, here we go. So everybody's in a right neutral bow. Just as a reminder, we're gonna do low kick, jab, Forward bow punch, okay? Everybody ready? Here we go. Move, kick, punch, punch, punch. Good, step back, and move. Low, high, middle, good. And three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, good, switch, with repeating, I'm coming in, I want to come in with protection and weapons, okay, alright, so, nice and easy, we drag up, kick, punch, punch, all right, and again, ready? Drag up, kick, punch, punch. Good, here we go. Three, four, don't forget that forward bow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Good, and attention stands. Excellent, good. So, you have a, a punching bag in your house or down the park or at your gym, this is a great exercise for that. Popping up, boom, boom. If you have a smaller 
a brother or sister, then they are not something that you want to practice this on. Don't do that. Um, if you have a kid, don't do that. Don't do that. No, that's fine. Okay, good. All right. So, entry techniques. Kempo is famous for our self defense techniques. Okay? And that's what we're going to work on right now. We're going to work on starting, we'll start with the yellow belt techniques and we'll see how far we can get. All right? Let's see what uh, time it is. Oh, okay, we got plenty of time. All right, delayed sword. Delayed sword is a defense off of, in the, go ahead and stand in defensive stance. The original technique is written, it's off of a grab. Okay, it's written off of a grab. Go ahead and step back, strike in the arm, pull back to a cat, kick, and land with a hand sword. All right, we're putting some of the basic techniques together with that same move we were doing before, stepping back with the block, and now we've got a little bit of a kick in there, and hand sword, we also got that check. All right, so let's walk through that together. Why don't we, why don't we face this direction? You guys follow along. Somebody grabs you, you're gonna step back and strike their arm with that inward block. Pull back to a cap, okay? You're just dragging that front foot back a little bit, Snapping a kick, landing with a hand sword. Okay, back up again. Ready? Step back with the block. Cat, take that left check up. Kick, hand sword. All right, here's what that looks like. Good. So that kick to the groin, all right, brings your opponent into position to finish the technique, right? So I'm grabbing, he's pulling me off, striking my arm, hits me in the groin, oh, that hurts, and that lines up that strike. Let me come over here for a second. Grab, step back, strike the arm, kick, boom. All right, so even an opponent that's taller than you, such as this, and I go, hey, kid, whoa, whoa, boom. Now, what Luca just did is exactly what we want, okay? As Kempoists, as we continue to train, you don't want to get to here, all right? And that's what just happened. If you rewind the tape, does tape exist? There's no tape. If you rewind the video, he blocked just as this was coming in. Because Kemp, um, Luca here is a well-trained martial artist, and that's what you all are as well. All right, and that's what we're working on. So you don't let the attack land. Right? So I'm coming in. Boom. Ah, very good. All right. So why don't you come on over here? Let's walk through that together. We'll do it from the side view. Back up a little bit. I'm going to run you there. We go. Perfect. Step back. Block. Drive back to your cap. Kick. Cancel. Up again. Step back with a block. Cat. Kick. Cancel. Ready? Move. Yeah. Good. Why don't we work back and forth? Turn around. Turn around. We're going to work back and forth doing the, doing the defense. You guys work on doing it in the air. Keep doing it every time we do it. Okay? Ready? Go. Good. Give me a punch. Go. 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 One more time, make it a good one. Go. Delayed reaction there, but that's okay. All right, come on up. All right. Second technique off of our yellow belt card, sword and hammer. All right? We love to use the names to help us remember the technique. All right, this is a grab from behind. Why don't you go ahead and do it? This is somebody grabbing you. Now, what the attack is, what we're preparing for, is that. Okay, somebody trying to sucker punch you. They're trying to pull you around. You're not a well trained martial artist right now. Let's just pretend. And then you take the punch to the face. Okay, so here's what's going to happen somebody grabs you. You counter grab. You don't want to get them. You don't want them to get away. 
because you want to hold them in position to step in with a sword right to the throat. Uh, I can't breathe. And a hammer. Oh, right to the groin. Oh, okay, so that's what you want to do. Sword and hammer. All right, here's what it looks like. Whoa. All right, let's work on that. So why don't we face this direction again so we can all work on this. Sword and hammer. Okay, all right, good. Let's face this direction so they can see the monitor. And somebody grabs you, counter grab, step in, sword, hammer. Good. All right, let's do that a couple of times. Ready? Go. Good. Ready? Go. One more time, make it a good one. Ready? Go. Make some contact. All right, good. Here we go. Third technique. We started with a right grab or a right punch with the laid sword. Now we're going to go into what I like to call, well, actually, it's called Sword of Destruction. But I, I call it Sword of Destruction! The little kids like that. My kids get embarrassed. Okay, Sword of Destruction is the left punch. Let's show you what it looks like real quick. Good, okay. Now we've got that minor move before the major move. We've worked on that during the basics. That's what we're going to do, okay? So the stance is the same as we did at the beginning. Right neutral bow, okay? Back up, right neutral bow. Back up, right neutral bow. Back up, okay. Now lift your left hand up, right neutral bow, outward extended hold. Okay, same move as an outward block. We're just turning the fist at the end. Outward block, extend. Ready? Move. Back up, move. Back up, move. Good. Now let's add that kick and hand sword. Step back, parry block. Same move. Go back to a cap. Kick. Now we got an inward hand sword. Inward hand sword. Okay? Ready? Step back. Walk. Cat. Kick. Hand sword. Ready? Step back. Walk. Kick. Hand sword. All right. Let's get a little bit of flow in there. If you need some time to go back and review, just chill out and you can, you can catch up later. Ready? Move. Move. Here. Good. We'll work on partners. You keep going. Okay. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Good. One more time. Make it a good one. Ready? Go. Jump. Okay. Good. We're good. All right. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. If you're working on your yellow belt card, all right. At this time in the class, we would normally split up and you guys would work on your material. That's what I would love for you to do right now, okay? Especially you guys who are looking to test, who should have tested uh, last week before we had to close everything down. I'm still looking at you to test, stay current and practice, okay? What I'd like you to do right now is go back, practice your short form one, okay? And practice your self-defense techniques, all right? For our yellow belts, we're gonna move on with the techniques, okay? Orange belt techniques, mace of aggression, all right? Mace of aggression, now we're learning to go against the attack. The attack is somebody grabbing your shirt, your jacket, whatever, we call it a lapel grab. Uh, the names were made in like the 50s and 60s, so these were, they're still called lapels, but nobody calls them anymore. So somebody grabs your shirt or your jacket, and they try to pull you, okay? They could be trying to headbutt you. They could be trying to throw you. Not that far, sorry. <laughs> Maybe they're just trying to throw you on the ground. Okay, so somebody grabs us in Kempo almost every time we counter grab. Exactly, you reach across, you grab across the hands, and you go with that pull movement Boom, 
You're stepping forward with your right foot, all right? You're using your enemy's force against them. The harder they pull, the harder you're gonna whack them in the face, okay? You wanna do a hammer fist. You wanna hit with the soft part of your fist right like that, okay? Right into the side of the head. Here we go. Somebody grabs you, you counter grab with your left hand. They pull you, step right, right, down on the arms, inward elbow, outward elbow. Ooh, good. Okay, ready? Good, okay. So let's try that, all right? Let's face this direction so we can all get in relatively in the same direction. Reach up with your left hand, you grab their arms. You step forward with the right, right hammer fist in the face. So down on the arms, roll an inward elbow, outward elbow. Okay, let's face this direction. Keeping up, good. Somebody grabs you, you counter grab. Lock that elbow down. They're pulling you, you go with it. Boom, down the arms, inward elbow, outward elbow. Right, one over here, grab me. Right, so I'm coming in, down, in, and I like that little shuffle just to get a little extra. Also adds a hip check in there. Make sure he can't kick you or try to take down your legs. You're pushing your weight into the target. Uh, making them a lot more uncomfortable, which is great. Okay, let's face that direction again. Somebody grabs you, counter grab. Step forward, strike, down, in, out. Good. Turn face me. All right, you guys keep doing that every time we do it, okay? Ready? Move. Good. Ready? Move. Yeah. Good. Ready? Move. Ready? Move. All right, good. Let's move on. The next one is alternating maces. Alternating maces is a push. We went from a grab here, now we're coming down to a push. Okay? <laughs> All right, so somebody tries to push you, you have exactly that same move from the very first technique. We have delayed sword, you have alternating maces. All you're doing is continuing that motion down. Delayed sword, alternating maces, same movement. You're just changing it a little bit to match the attack, okay? Here's what it looks like. Punch, back now. Good, come at me. Stepping back, block, punch, forward bow, there it is again. Punch, back knuckle, okay? Good, let's all face this direction. Ready, step back, block, punch, back knuckle. And again, ready, step back, block, punch, back knuckle. Neutral bow, forward bow, neutral bow. Neutral bow, forward bow, neutral bow. You guys hear me say this every week in class? I want to see it. I want to see those feet twisting and turning, getting that power, getting that extension. Ready? Step back, walk, punch, back. Up. Good. Let's uh, let's go back and forth, you and I. You guys keep doing it exactly like that. Okay? Ready? Move. Ready? Move. Ready? Move. Ready? Move. Good. Excellent. Third technique off our orange belt card. Third technique is attacking mace. Attacking mace. Attacking mace. So now we've got a really face me. You got a really aggressive punch through through you. I wasn't gonna hit you. Where are you going? <laughs> Through, all right, it's a really aggressive punch. I like to call this the matador. You're sort of getting out of the way, letting the bull go, and then you stop the bull, okay? So, this is an event, we'll show it to you, and then we'll step through it again, all right? Punch is coming in, you're stepping back with a block. You got that forward bow punch. Oh, that hurt. You don't let him get away, you grab. 
You come back with that kick, land with an uppercut, okay? And if you can, shuffle up and check that knee with the knee. Yeah, that's the hidden movement there. Don't worry about that too much right now. Let's concentrate on everything else, okay? Let's face this direction. All right, now we're starting to learn the other side, right? We had delayed sword. We had sword of destruction. We had alternating maces. We're always moving to that same position. Now you guys are getting more advanced. So now you're learning to move the other way. Now we're gonna move back to a left neutral bow, inward block. Forward bow punch, grab the hand, round kick, land with that uppercut, leave the check if you can get it, okay? So, step back, block, punch, grab, kick, uppercut. Step back, block, punch, grab, kick, uppercut. All right, let's work that. Keep going, ready? Boom! Oh, yeah. Good, ready? Move. Up your bum. Ready? Move. Ready? Move. Good. All right, guys. I think. Good. Perfect. All right. My yellow belts. You know who you are. Go off and practice that, okay? We got those three techniques. If you feel like you've got them down, you're really feeling good about them, go ahead and start practicing long form one, okay? With long form one, maybe we can do a video call so I can see you guys showing me how far you're getting and uh, giving you some tips on that, okay? So right now, yellow belts, I'd like you to practice those three techniques for the orange belt card. If you have them, Go ahead and move on and start working on long form one. All right, orange belts, working on your purple. I know you're out there. Let's go. What are the techniques? Ah, the two that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna skip fletching feathers though because I wanna work on the kicking techniques, okay? Let's go with the last one, the, le the, the one that you just learned, which is deflecting hammer, all right? So we can step through that one. All right, let's go ahead and do the technique. So, interesting, we were talking about the, the blocks before, we were talking about delayed sword, we were talking about then alternating maces, and now we've got deflecting hammer, okay? Delayed sword, alternating maces, deflecting hammer, all right? So now we're gonna get that downward block. Here's what it looks like, just so we know what we're working towards, okay? With the front thrust kick coming in, block, Come back with that inward elbow, okay? So, first move, step back, down the block. Shuffle forward, inward elbow. Ready? Step back, block, elbow. All right. Now, you guys are orange belts, right? So you're starting to be more agile. You're starting to really, you don't have to think about your neutral bows anymore. Now we're going to add a little bit more um, agility to it. Okay, we're adding now a little bit more flow, okay? What I want you to do is bounce in with this one, okay? So just do the feet for a minute. Don't worry about the hands. What I want you to do is go back to a right neutral bow and bounce forward, okay? I want you to coil. I want you to compress like a spring, okay? Um, let's try that a couple of times. Ready? Step back. Coil, forward, okay? Step back, coil, forward, all right? That's gonna be the motion. You're going to downward block, inward elbow, okay? Let's try that a few times, ready? Move. Ready, move. Good, now that you got the feet, you know what the moves are, I want you to make sure you're flowing from the downward block, into the inward elbow. We don't want to stop and come up. You want a nice circle, okay? 
just like this. Do that a few times. Get your arm moving. Ready? Back and forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. Okay, good. I think you're getting the hang of it. Let's do the technique. Ready? Move. Sure. All right. We're going to do it on each other. You guys keep going, okay? Here we go. Ready? Move. Ready? Move. Ready? Move. Ready? Move. Good. Okay. Next technique, thrusting salute. Now, we're learning about inside outside now as well. All right? So with deflecting hammer, the one we just did, go ahead and give me the kit. I'm going to the outside. All right? I'm on the outside. This is what we mean. This is inside, all right, where he's got all of his weapons. This is inside. This is outside. This is where I like to be, right, where he can't hit me most of the time. you got to watch for spinning back elbows. Okay, there's some fancy things, but it's a lot. Okay, that was really fancy. <laughs> okay, but this is a safer area. Now, for whatever reason, I couldn't move to the outside. Maybe there's a wall there or something. Okay, so now we gotta go to the inside, okay? Which isn't so bad. The only thing is, you gotta be a little bit quicker on the return, okay? So, here's what's gonna happen. What's the name of this technique? Thrusting salute. Thrusting salute. It's a thrust kick, and we end with a salute. That's how you can remember the name. So, the right kick is coming in. You're going to step off to the right with a downward block. That left hand comes up immediately as a check. Front kick, follow it with a palm strike. All right? Here we go. Step back, block, uh, kick, palm strike. Step back, block, kick, palm strike. Ready? Move. Now, why, why do I want that left hand to come up? Why do I want that left hand to come up? Right. Chances are the attack doesn't come from a guy with his hands in his pockets and just comes in like this and then waits for you to waits for you to, to do whatever you want to. Oh, good, good. Okay. Chances are. They've got hands, and if they're willing to kick you, they're willing to punch you, okay? So, we'll go nice and slow. Boom. I'm coming in with a kick. He comes in with that. Oh, oh that's why I want the left hand up, because I that punch could come right into your face. So, if he, if, if you don't bring up that hand, oh, that hurt, that hurt, okay? So, I want you to bring that hand up as soon as you walk. Boom, oh, yeah. That's a good job, okay? All right, let's do that again, ready? Move. Good, we'll do it a couple times to each other. You keep going every time we go, okay? Here we go. Move. Ready? Hey, you're coming to me this time, all right? Move. Don't bring your knees in. <laughs> all right, good. All right, again, ready? Move. Ready? Move. Good, all right. Perfect. So, that is thrusting salute and deflecting hammer, all right? Any questions, you let me know. I would love to see a video of you guys practicing these techniques. Send them to me, and uh, you guys all have my WhatsApp, my email, everything else, all right? Good, let's see, we got two minutes left. Let's finish with some hard and fast basics. So, all of you guys, all of you white belts that were over there practicing like I asked you to, I need you to come back to class, all right? Your yellow belts, come back to class, all right? Here we go, we're gonna finish with some hard and fast basics. I want some good key eyes, all right? Let's show the neighbors that the coronavirus isn't going to keep us.
Yeah. All right, we're going to stay active. We're going to stay happy. <laughs> Let's go. Hard and fast basics, guys. Ready? Doors. Put your right hand out. We'll put our left hand out. Put your right hand out like you just finished a perfect punch. I want hard punches, key eyes, every punch. Right? We're going to alternate. Ready? Move, hit, move, hit, move, hit, move, hit, move, hit, move, hit, move, hit. Two punches, two key eyes. Move, hit, hit, move, hit, hit, move, hit, hit. Three punches, three key eyes. Move, hit, hit, hit. Two punches. Move, hit, hit, move, hit, hit, move, hit, hit. Meditate. Attention stance, citation. Great job, good job, buddy. Great to have my son here with us doing this live stream. And uh, just wanna say, oh, thank you guys for joining. Thanks for uh, being part of this community. Let's stay positive, right? Let's keep each other's spirits high and we'll all get through this together. Oh, grazie mille, Italia, che, che soddisfazione, che cioè, è bellissimo no? avervi qua con noi, e, America, uh, London, I've got friends in London who are watching, they got their kids on, hey London, and uh, 